Howdy gang, Tiger is back and today we are doing another haul video because I've been hauling a lot. I just haven't told, shown you. So we'll get started and this is a mess around me so don't be surprised. It'll take me a minute to figure things out. I did get a a few mugs like I don't already have enough mugs I could probably rehome which are my own because I have my own mug collection I just cannot say no when it comes to mugs and I change them out instead of rehoming them I put them away in a box in storage and bring out different ones and when I get tired of using those different ones I change them out again so it's not like I don't use them but sorry my glasses are sliding because I got my cheapo internet cool video glasses that I would never wear outside because they're not that good to wear outside but they're cool right <laughs> anywho mugs look at that it's poipel 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 and it's signed look at the design on the handle oh I did not bring my little whiteboard but it's a beautiful piece. This is one I want to keep, but you know, nothing is forever. If anyone is interested in any of these items, just email me, tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com. And here is the gardener mug. Look at that. Come on, focus. There we go. Isn't that cool? And planting. What was that? And this is, is marked as well on the bottom, signed. I most often find that happiness is right where I planted it. So you plant happiness and you find it right there. Then I have, there were two by this guy. Unfortunately, on one of them was a little bit cracked, so I left it behind. Different designs. Arnhem mug. And now it's again not focusing properly. You know? There we go. It's an Arnhem mug. Arne. Arne. That does sound like a good Northern German name. There's the... This way. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know what's going on with my camera today. I really need to get a new camera, but I don't have money for a new camera, especially since this one works. This one is my favorite. The Lauren Birch Purple Horse Mug. I also have a Lauren Birch Cat Mug, but that's white with cats on it. I love that this is black with purple, and again, it's not focusing. I need to get that whiteboard and cover my face, right? Tiger, your face. Wait, that line is taken. Except it doesn't say tiger. That's the bottom. But that is absolutely beautiful piece. I love that hussy. Poipo hussy, hussy hussy. May or may not come to a rehoming near you. I'm not sure about that yet. Then I got a totally different piece. This is made in Korea. But it is a beautiful beautiful gal I don't know I've seen I've seen them online so they do exist love the hat so art deco looking white porcelain and in wonderful shape then we have let me put her away I don't even know where to put stuff anymore now <laughs> I have so much stuff sitting here cling clong now I did get an auction lot. Oh, look at that. I picked him up in Germany. I forgot to show him to you. And now he is not going to get rehomed. He's staying right here. But isn't he cool though? Isn't he cool? I don't know who made him. He's not Mark or anything, but he's cool. I love him. <laughs> My new favorite tiger. Then I have several of these guys, different styles, but all these, um, the wine bottle art. What I like about this one is the top. It's got this really cool, and again, it's not focusing. 
art on top. You can hang it on the wall if you want. Stick a picture on it. That's what I thought I was thinking of doing with these things. Stick pictures on. I use them as picture frames and hang them on the wall. Or you can use them as serving dish or for cheese. Cheese and wine bottle. <laughs> Look at that. That's the, that's the nicest one of them all. And the biggest one. And here's a smaller one. That one I definitely want to use as a picture frame. So you can even put like a little wire in here and hang it to make a hanging, something to hang it on. And you can use this side or you can use that side. But this one would look better for the picture. And just to glue a picture on there. Then I have two more of these. There's this one. Now this one is a little odd for a size for pictures. You can probably put two small pictures on there. It has a little bit of a of a wire. Whoever made this wasn't as good as at it yet. It looks like they were practicing. But still, it's a nice one and this one looks like the other one almost, except it doesn't have anything on top. So this one, whenever you entertain, if you want to just have little little cheese or little olives or anything you can put on there, well olives would fall off probably, but you can hold it. You can use it as a serving tray. Here, half a piece of cheese. <laughs> I like these things, they're so cool. Then we have a set of whatever they are. I don't know, this looks like for asparagus maybe or something. I know someone out there would know. And again, that's not hiding my face, hiding my face, not focusing. But um, it does have the design is rubbed off on a couple of these, unfortunately. They were doing too nice a job of cleaning them, I guess. But I just really think they're so cute. And they're from Sheffield, England. And I cannot see from here whether or not it focuses properly. So if it didn't focus properly, I apologize. And I don't know what this is. This looks like something you use for fishing. You can use it to get the get the hook out of the, out of the fish after you <laughs> after you catch it <laughs> then I have a lizard plate isn't that cool and this one is signed as well Southwest baby we're in the Southwest I'm bringing Southwest stuff speaking of Southwest there are some art pieces I also found I picked those up at an auction an estate auction that one is leather. That one is really nice. And then I have, whoops, <laughs> excuse me while I'm hiding from you. Another lizard, more abstract lizard. New Mexico, Santa Fe, signed and everything. Beautiful piece. Of course, I also picked up a huge, huge, huge tray with a boat on it. Now this is not for shipping, I would think. It's one of these old aluminum trays with a boat. I've seen a smaller one with a with a tall ship that was a lot nicer quality. I mean nicer looking, but still. I probably just hang on the wall. It already has a has a little piece of rope on the back, so whoever had it before had it hanging on the wall. That's cool, isn't it? Whoops, and here it's falling over. <laughs> oh. I know, I'm driving you nuts with my glasses. I should probably shouldn't have worn those, should I? But that's just, that's what happens when you, when you order stuff on the internet. There is, um, I've had him for a while. Look at him. He's made in Mexico. And he is big and heavy. If you're local, if you're into cats, if you like him, let me know. We can come up with a price that works. I did not really get any, any discounts on him though, I just fell in love with him, I figured I could use him in my house. But then I already have so many cats in the house. I would paint him though. But yeah, he is signed too. There we go. There is his little sticker on the bottom. He's so cute. I love him. I mean, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> kitty 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 yay <laughs> oh boy and then there was this other um 
auction I participated in before I went on out of town. And I, uh, yeah, I did not think I was going to win this this auction. I didn't get these things for cheap, but they're not. They are not cheap. They are worth money, decent money. So, iron wood. I know it's not quite what it used to be, but remember, you cannot cut these down anymore. So the larger pieces are getting rarer and rarer and this one is awesome he does not have any anything missing i mean all all the beaks are all there and there's his little whatchamacallit isn't he gorgeous he's probably living at my house for now but if anyone is interested Tigers dot times dot treasures at gmail.com yeah I just absolutely love these guys and the other one that came in the set is a little bit smaller it's a dolphin I love dolphins still a pretty good size though so yeah the money I paid for him was not cheap money but it was worth the money I did not overpay it was the first bid too. I did not, I did not outbid bid anyone. Nobody else outbid me. I expect to be outbid. I had my bid in for a couple other items on that on that deal. The um, that Purple Hot Thrift Store here in Mesa, they have two auctions every week. One is a si both silent auctions. One ends on Saturdays at four o'clock, four p.m. So you put your bid in. And they get pulled, the bids get pulled on Saturday, and then if you win, you get a call. The other one is more valuable items, and that is good for seven days. Everybody bids on it, who wants to bid, obviously. And then they wait seven days, and if nobody else outbid you in seven days, they call you. Then it's yours. Which I imagine that's really hard to do. Look at that with the background there. <laughs> because then they have to look at, and they have a lot of items in those auctions. I don't know how they do that. They must have a computer program that reminds them. So, what else do we have? Oh yeah, whoops. We have these totally cool pieces. And I have three of them. Aren't they beautiful? This is more like a bud vase. It's a little bit smaller. It does have a uh, air bubble right there, but it's not ma not damaged. That's a beautiful piece. Then there is a little. I don't know. You could use it as a creamer, or you could use it as a bud vase as well. It's a little bit smaller. It has a handle. It's a beautiful piece as well. And then there is the um, toothbrush cup. <laughs> A little different different color it's more of a yellowish while these are more purpley but aren't they beautiful I end up getting the whole set because I just I just fell in love with these these may come to a rehoming near you soon then there's another German vase this one ironically I picked up in the States but these are awesome. I've seen actually. I've, I don't know if I've seen one of the one of those in Germany or if I've seen one of those online somewhere. But I've seen this before, and it is a real nice. There's the stamp on there, on the bottom there. It is a mono Germany. No, it's not West Germany, so it's pre 1990. Still vintage, most likely, but it's just a beautiful piece. I love this. I love the design. I love the size. I mean, this, you know, that it's not just the straight up and down thing, but it's kind of, you know, it's a beautiful piece. And then there is one of these dragon um, silverware holders. I had a different one. I showed on Thursday. This one is a larger one. Now this one I'm thinking you can use for ephemera, postcards, you can put postcards in there, you know. And it's got the totally cool dragon heads there. It's just, this is a Mikasa. So it's a real nice 
real nice quality, nice company. And um, it's a little bit larger than the one I showed on Thursday. So that's what I was going to do. Put some postcards, like, you know, vintage postcards, stick them in there. But you can also put other stuff in there. Oh, silverware, which is what they're originally made for, to my knowledge. So, where are we? 15 minutes. Did I have more? I thought I had more. That was quick. And I know I have more. Oh, yeah, I have at least one more item that I need to get to right here, over here, without throwing my tiger on the floor. I did pick up last week a, a lot of um, carpets, rugs, with the uh, native style design. And I'm keeping two of those from my house. This one I was thinking of keeping, but this one has an odd shape. I don't know what I would do with it because I don't have like large, I mean I do have a large table where I pack, but I don't want to put that on my packing table because then it's going to get messed up with all the packing stuff. This is a interesting size. This is six foot by one foot. It's a wonderful shape. It is six foot long and one foot wide. So if you're interested in something like that or if you could use something like that, you can put it on the table, you can put it on the floor, you can hang it on the wall. So many, so many uses for this and it's a nice piece. Nice colors, nice shape. It does not have a tag. I don't know who, when and where it was made. It was, um, if it was handmade, I'm thinking it would have been handmade. It looks like it. Can you even hear me after this? Uh, behind, <laughs> behind this? Look at that. That's the way I should present everything. Just my head. Huh? Tiger's head sitting on a on a on a rug. What's up with that? <laughs> well, I went to the uh, Illusion, which is an illusionist museum in Berlin. Um, they have all these illusion things. It, I mean, that that place is awesome. And those of you who saw my my who are on my Instagram probably saw some of the pictures I posted. There was this one picture we could climb under under a. Uh, it was set up. There's a, like a plate, and you could stick your head in there. It looks like your head is on a plate. Of course, I wasn't thinking about that. I was just smiling because I had a total stranger take my picture, and I had a hard time getting in and out of there. But I just was, I was just so excited to have someone take a picture of me because this is one of those things where you need two people, and they do have actually employees walking around there taking pictures of you if you don't have a second person in your party. But um, it was it was totally cool. So I had this picture of my head on a plate, like <laughs> like I was yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have other pictures from there too that are really totally cool. I have a picture of two of me in a large and small version. It's just, it's just, yeah. Anywho, I have lots of pictures. And that's what I'm planning on doing. As I'm planning on doing more art again, more photography again. If this happens, you will know. If you want me to show stuff like that on on YouTube, let me know. If you're interested in purchasing some of my photographs, let me know. I know some of you did before. Um, it all depends on, you know, it's always hard because you never know which ones are, you know, people are interested in and then you have all these photos that you pay to get, you know, to get printed and then Nobody ends up buying most of them, but then there are two or three that everybody wants and you only have so many copies. That happened to me before. That is frustrating, but you learn. So next time you make more copies of the ones that are popular. <laughs> I also want to get into the um, mixed media thing because I have some really cool and I don't know why I did this, but I blew up some pictures on 20 by 30 or whatever the size is. It's huge. It wasn't cheap that I normally would not have blown up that large. And even if I had, I don't have wall space or frames that large. I don't even know what I was thinking. But there were a couple of them that I did on purpose because I want to I wanna make some something out of it with my ephemera. I want to use my old magazines, which I hate to cut up. 
but some of them that's why I like it when I find some that are damaged there that makes it easier for me to make the decision to cut them up the ones that are not damaged is really hard to cut up <laughs> so yeah that's um, another thing that I am planning on doing if I ever get my my house and my life organized enough to actually do it that's my problem organization I'm so such a bad organizer these days I used to be good at it but now not anymore I need someone who can help me organize. So if you know how to organize, if you want to help me out, tigers.tigers.treasures at gmail.com. You may even get paid with a Twix. I'll pay in Twix. I love Twix. <laughs> Anywho, this is it for today. You all know the deal. You all keep it real. And bada bing and bada boom.